Hello. Welcome to the Connect 007 experience. Here we come to the podcast where human connection is everything. If you're trying to connect better with those around you, you're in the right spot. So please sit back, relax, open your mind, and enjoy the experience. Hello there, Connect 007 family. I am your host of this amazing podcast. My name is Thaddeus Sims, and today's episode is our 75th episode titled, Allow to Reveal. Now, before I go into any of this, I apologize like so much because you all know I usually have the podcast like released by 530, but I still have not acclimated yet to the time, I guess, here. And in my mind, I thought it was I thought it was Monday. And then I woke up and I was like, wait, this show is coming on. And I was like, wait, that's supposed to come on tomorrow. Today is Monday. And I looked on my phone and it's Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I am not even going to play with you guys. I legit thought today was Monday. And uh, so I apologize 1,000 times. So, yes, but we have a podcast this Tuesday. So for my international listeners, I do apologize. I know the time zone is different for you all. I think it's uh, for some of you all, it's at least 10 10 o'clock p.m. right now as this is being recorded. So we're going to dive into this episode. This actually will most likely be a quick little one. So let us go into (laughs) this episode. I'm so sorry again, guys. I just apologize. It's, It's crazy. Okay, so for the announcement, you already know, let us work to get the Connect 007 page to 1,000. And once we hit that goal, I'll have a surprise for everybody. Also, I have been noticing there has been a few more likes on the page. So I have been seeing a few of you all liking it. You guys are awesome. Going into the fun fact, this one is kind of funny because if you really know me, Like my friends pick on me when I see a squirrel, I go from like this wise, you know, adult to like a three year old really fast. Like I see a squirrel, I'm like squirrel. Oh my gosh, it's a squirrel. And I just, I just go crazy. I love squirrels. So when I seen this fun fact, I was like, I have to do this because I love squirrels and you're probably judging me, but that's okay. I've learned to accept that about myself. So The fun fact, approximately 10 to 20 percent of the U.S. power outages are caused by squirrels. It's a fun fact. I'm going to choose to deny that. I'm going to choose to ignore that truth because squirrels are majestic and angelic creatures who would not do anything of the sort. But of course, this fun fact also says harmless and cute as they seem, which they are. These fuzzy little creatures aren't as innocent as you think. Lies, lies. Squirrels have a tendency of chewing the wires, but luckily it's a simple fix. So I just feel as though it's just human beings just messing up and they want to blame it on squirrels. I mean, how could you blame such a tragedy on a a beautiful creature? Like that is a gift from the creator. Like you don't do that. But anyways, that's just my viewpoint on it. But that's the fun fact, guys. So squirrels, squirrels. I really can't wait to see one when I walk outside. You have no idea. But let me let's focus. Let us get on to this episode. So this episode is titled Allowed to Reveal. And this is just really like a uh, a suggestion, so to speak, a suggestion slash story. And I would like to share with you all what I mean by that. So allow to reveal. So allow yourself. I just suggest this, like allow yourself to get very close with people, right? Certain people that you're already close with, be it a loved one, be it a friend, uh, a new person, or be it someone that you just have this strong attraction and or connection to. It doesn't have to be like a sexual one or 
for someone to date, but it's just something about them that you just have a strong connection. Like I need to talk with that person or we need to connect. Right. And allow yourself to do that. And here's why. When you do that, certain like people reveal a lot of things about us. And I have mentioned this in the podcast before, like just connecting with people because they'll just reveal different things. But I really want to focus on the things that we didn't see coming at all or we did not know was there. Right. And I mentioned before in the podcast, when you do connect with people, some people just reveal certain things that you kind of already know. Like what I mean is, you know that you don't you may not really get close with people like that. And some people may just say, yeah, I noticed you don't really you don't really hang out with people like that. And you you kind of knew that there's reasons why. <clears throat> But this one is in particular to those things that you had no clue about at all. And it's a shocker to you. Like you have to kind of take a step back and like, whoa, I didn't even know that was there. How did that even get there? Right. And I'm going to obviously be vulnerable here with you all and tell on myself. So here's what I mean by this. I have a particular, well, you already know who she is, but I already have a particular loved one and um, she's amazing to me. And so one of the things about myself is the more I've been getting closer with my loved one, the things that have been revealed to me was I knew that I was still working on receiving just in general, just receiving. I'm so used to giving. We already know this. I've said this a thousand times, but I was still, I'm still working on that, right? And so this past few days, let me make sure now because I'm getting my days mixed up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the safe side for this past week or so. One of the things that was revealed to me was that I can give love to a lot of people, that's no problem. I can receive it as well with certain people. But the one part that I did not know was that my heart had a wall over it regarding receiving a particular type of love from someone that I care deeply for, right? And I didn't know this, right? I, I like, as, as I was just connecting more, I would just feel like this, I would feel the love, but it was just something in my heart space. It was It was like kind of different. It kind of felt like there was um, a field around it. You know, didn't think too much of it. But I went for a walk and walks are amazing. You know, you get things when you go for a walk. And one of the things that was revealed to me was that, yeah, you need to like, like this loved one is helping you to bring down that feel that you had of receiving love from someone in that nature. Someone who actually loves you and would like to be there for you and support you and help you. This is different from family, you know, from your mom, your dad, or friends, right? This is like you're the one you 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 plan to spend the rest of your life with, right? And so what was revealed for me was just like, yeah, you have this field up. And I'm like, but why? Like I what do you mean? I I I receive. What are you talking about? It's just I was I was very confused. You can hear it in my voice, right? I was just like, "What are you talking about?" Like this is a meditation, guys. Let me let me let me take a step back. I went for a walk, and it was revealed to me as I was walking because you can meditate and walk at the same time. So it was just things just coming to me, intuition, all the things were just flowing, right? So okay, now fast forward. Yes, I was just like, "What do you mean? Where is? What do you mean? There's this wall, like, or this field coming up?" And it's like, yes. You have loved other people and you've attempted to receive this love, but you were hurt before, actually two times. And because of that, you subconsciously put this field up around your heart and you just didn't know that you did that. And I, I was I was very sh- like blown away by this information that came to me. It was like, wait, What? And so it just threw me for a big loop. I was just like, but I love this person. I shouldn't have this up. And it was just like, well, in your past experiences, because you've gotten hurt, it's kind of like, you know how your subconscious, like your mind protects you from doing anything that it may, you may, or it may, it may um, 
deem as it could be a harm to your safety or anything that's just very uncomfortable. You have the fear. Your mind is trying to like retract and stuff like that. So I guess subconsciously for me, that's just what happened. And so that really just threw me for a loop. So I was like, okay, so what what do I do? And it's like, well, this takes time. I was like, well, what? I'm like, what? What do you mean this takes time? It's for me. I make a decision, and then boom, we're done. It's it happens, and it's like, yeah, no, it ain't working like that for you. This is going to take time. This is a process for you. I was just so I was very blown away. I shared that whole little snippet of what the heck happened to me to uh, like just suggest for you all to really allow yourself to just get close with other people you know obviously they pass the trust factor they pass that you know they're people you want in your life they're good people they have good energy you know all of that all of that you know saying all of that let me let me just say that it's not any old person but you know people who went through that right like people who went through your test or whatnot so after they went through all of that they're vetted whatever then allow yourself really to just let it happen because you'll be very surprised what is revealed inside of yourself that no one else would be able to reveal, not even yourself, if that person didn't do it. And so I don't know about you guys, but that just makes me want to take my relationships that I have to a whole new level being, okay, well, what else do I not know about myself that this individual is the only person that could reveal that? And it just makes me think, like, look at all the people that you have around you that you are very close with, be it you can be have your boyfriend or your girlfriend, wife, um, a best friend, a brother, a sister. It makes you think, like, if you were to take your relationship to a whole different level, what would be revealed, like, within you or about you, right? So I just suggest and actually even a little bit challenge you to take some of your relationships to a, a different level and see. And how do you do that would be just being more vulnerable, having conversations, doing things that are a little bit different than you normally do. So if you normally go out to eat and just talk, you know, why not, I don't know, go to a different place, be it an escape room, right? <laughs> see how you guys work with helping each other get out of a room or do something just very different that norm that you normally wouldn't and just see what's revealed like just see it's just interesting and and for me this is just really shocking and it just makes you think like wow you really think you, you know when they say you really think you know a person but it just makes me say wow i really thought i knew myself and i mean i do but it's just wow so just think about it guys a person who you're very close with imagine what they could reveal like about yourself and vice versa, what you could reveal about a person. And I've experienced this on the other end of helping, like I would see things about people and I would reveal, yeah, this, this, this is what's, you know, with you and things like that. And it's always been very beneficial, but for it to happen to me in the way it did and it, it, it took, it threw me all off. It was just very interesting. So I just wanted to create a space for you all, a topic, a conversation, a suggestion for you all to really look at some of the relationships you have and see the ones you, whichever one your heart tells you to make a decision on, hey, let's take this to a different level and see what's revealed. You'd be very surprised. So with that being said, guys, that is it on that particular topic. We're going to move to the next part of the podcast which is health is wealth and of course you guys already know and some of you are new i i just got word there have been some more people on who's been listening to the podcast so if this is your very first episode the health is wealth segment is pretty much the podcast is all about helping you connect with yourself and others right but the health is wealth segment is a bit of a bonus to the podcast I would like for you all to just come back to the podcast next episode feeling a bit better than you were today. You may feel amazing. Hell, you may feel on top of the world, but we can always increase. We can always level up even then. So with our health, which is our wealth and our health is everything, you doing maybe something that is suggested in this episode may actually help you to feel better. And so next episode, you come back, you're a little bit different. You feel a little bit better, a little bit happier, and then some. So that is the whole point of the health is wealth. 
Now, this one is going to probably be very interesting. And I'm probably going to slap a lot of people in the face, especially my hard workers here. So health is wealth. And this particular topic is going to be doing nothing. Can you believe it, guys? Doing nothing is actually beneficial for you. <gasps> Thaddeus, blasphemy. That is a lie. I cannot just sit there and do nothing. I can't just waste my time. I just I just can't stay still. I don't see how people can do that. That's just that's just unproductive. Like you're wasting your time. You're wasting life, right? That's probably going through some of y'all heads. And some of y'all probably like, oh, I mean, not really, because I'm doing nothing right now. But for some of y'all, it's probably, you know, going through it. So let's actually talk about this because I I I really wanted to go on this because I know that there are some times that I could do so many things. And for these past few months, I have been told to, hey, stop, do nothing, be here. And it was just like, I. it took months for me to do that. And, and now it says successfully, I know, okay, I'm getting to stop doing something. I know some. I'm, I'm getting close to either a burnout or I'm getting close to an unwanted experience. So let me listen. So let's talk about this. So I was reading this article and some points from the article is saying that uh, keeping busy may help you feel productive or even accomplished, but idly occupying yourself has its costs. It can negatively impact your health, your relationships, and yes, even your work. While it might sound counterintuitive, there are benefits to doing nothing. So it goes on to say more and more of us find ourselves unable to juggle overwhelming demands and maintain a seemingly unsustainable pace. Paradoxically, the best way to get more done may be to spend more time doing less. Reports the news reports from the New York Times, a new and growing body of multidis multidisciplinary research shows that strategic renewal, including daytime workouts, short afternoon naps, longer sleep hours, more time away from the office and long and longer, more frequent vacations boost actually productivity, job performance and, of course, health. Right. So let me say all of that in a regular way. Like I just gave it to you from this article, but let me just give it to you in a, in a better way. So for some of us out there, we're either hard workers, we put 100% of what we're doing, and we may feel like, hey, we're not putting our 100% and getting that type of burnout, we're being unproductive. But I'm going to tell it to you like this. I I was like that. And what I've come to find that when you actually do nothing, you get ahead of the game a lot more. Here's what I mean. I would be focused on the podcast. I would be focused on other business things that I had to go. When I was doing things, I felt like I was being productive. I felt like I was moving forward. But I would ignore that I needed to stop. And, you know, like they said, a strategic renewal. And so what I've come to find is that I was doing so much, so much, so much that something started to to not feel right. And I kind of ignored it. One of the things for me is for me to stop is that I needed to play my video game, right? That may sound like such a total, oh, okay, you're, you're playing a video game. That's not, that's nothing. But for me, it's like a therapy for me in a way. Like it, it helps with the visual stimulation. It helps me with creativity. It allows me to really just stay still and just actually enjoy the moment, be here, right? And it just sparks other ideas. Sometimes it's just good to just lay down in the bed and just put the phone on airplane mode or turn it off and just lay down in the bed. May not even be tired, but just to lay down and just let your thoughts like flow and then ideas will start to come to you or questions that you have for yourself. You start to allow yourself to receive more and it allows you to become more aware of other different things. Let's take it with vacations. Like, one other thing, I just came back from a vacation. Um, as you already know, I was with someone very close to me. I was with her and um, I was so folk, like I was spending time, but, you know, I was also having my, uh, what I'm doing, which I'm going to tell you guys soon, what I'm doing coming into play, that was like taking up, like my mind was like, dude, you need to just like take a break, be here and enjoy, take a vacation and stuff like that. Also, too, like getting back on my sleep schedule. My sleep schedule was like off for a little bit. So things were being thrown off and it was just kind of like crazy. Even to be honest with you guys, 
I would say that part of that even happened with like a bit of today with helping having my time in a, a whole different area. So having those times to do nothing can be very beneficial to your health. It is a recharge, not only just physically, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually too. And it's not a bad thing. I know I did a bit of a health as well of like taking breaks or something, but like doing nothing is actually just just sitting there and to do nothing. You and for you, for those who have a hard time with like doing nothing, like you feel like, oh, I can't do that because I have this and I feel like blah, 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 I'm bored or things like that. Ask yourself, really ask yourself. Is it because you feel like you are like, like not productive or in reality, is there some things that you are keeping your mind occupied so you don't think about this, that, the other? Or are you trying to escape something by being productive, by going here, by doing this? So really ask yourself that. Really take a moment and just say, by me constantly being busy, is there something that I'm running away from? Is there something I don't want to face? Am I burying myself in this? And if not, then you're good. You know, you, you're you probably fine. But if so, maybe doing nothing is, you know, going to be productive for you to actually face whatever it is you need to face. Because I promise you, it is going to come back in some way or some other. And it's better to do it on your own terms versus some other stuff coming up. So, yes, guys, that is the health as well. Do nothing. So another challenge, I challenge you at some point. Plan it. Plan the time to just do nothing. Preferably have your phone away from you because now with technology, which I love, but there, there, there needs to be some type of time where we need to be away from it. <clears throat> technology, I love it. So we do have we have more access to do more things and all the time. So it's good to just disconnect for a little bit. I don't know about you all, but I know I was talking with some friends and I was talking with some family about it's something when you turn your phone off, it does something mentally for you. It's just like a ah, like a break. Right. So I encourage you guys just to do nothing. And it doesn't have to be for half a day. You can take 20 minutes and do nothing and just really see how that feels for you. So with that being said, guys, that is it for the a podcast segment and just a little bit of what's been going on for something new with what's going with the direction of the podcast. So as you all know that I have been mentioning, there are some new things coming about. And one of the new things that I am working on is an online course. So for the podcast, there is going to be a branch of the Connect 007, which will be on online courses. And at the moment, I'm actually very excited for this. So if you are interested in these next online courses, you can always just shoot me a message or uh, DM me or contact me on the website. But this online course is going to be focused on how to find yourself. And that is something I'm very passionate about is helping other people find themselves. So I know that I do the podcast focused on, you know, just connecting with yourself and connect with other people. But I am very passionate about helping other people find themselves because we hear good things and we hear positive stuff and we soak it in. But sometimes it's not as effective when we don't know who we are. And because we don't know who we are, that can kind of mess up some things, right? It is just, it's not, you don't really receive it on a level you can. So if that's something that you guys are definitely interested in and definitely want more information on, just shoot me a uh, direct message on any of the social medias and be like, hey, online course, I'm interested. Or on the website, you can contact me on there. So with that being said, guys, that is it. I will see you all Friday. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon. Later. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please leave a five-star rating. And share with a friend near you. Remember, the world's a better place because you exist. Know your worth and know thyself.